We are back in Pandora with this long awaited sequel to Avatar from 2009. James Cameron has been working on 4 sequels hence why we have waited for 13 years to get this movie. Not only does one of these movies take commitment to make because of the way Cameron likes to push the limits of what is possible in CGI. But they are huge productions that involve hundreds if not thousands of people that make Pandora come to life, both in front and behind the camera. As usual, we are introduced to a very rich world full of detail and beautiful design within the world of Pandora. You almost forget that you are watching something that is 100% CGI, with the exception of the actors portraying human characters in the story. James Cameron is one of my favorite directors of all time, and his direction with this movie and the first one is just great as expected. He is one of few directors that can make whatever he wants to make because of the amount of hits he's had throughout his career. With Titanic being the top grossing movie of all time for a long while before he beat his own record with the first Avatar movie. Here he delivers an emotional movie with great performances from the actors in the motion capture suits portraying the Navi. You get a lot of intense scenes with beautiful cinematography, it is a stunning looking movie, although we don't really get a more complicated or more inventive storyline this time around. There isn't many things that are new about the story, but the stakes are higher. And the new characters are well implemented within it. Some of the dialogue is weak and there are some cliches. But it is entertaining and you never are bored with the movie, despite its length. It just could have used more of a better conflict within the story and less rehashing of story beats from the first movie. It is a beautiful return to Pandora, nothing groundbreaking except for the CGI, but the new young characters are a very good addition and they are the cornerstone that hold this movie together. It's more focused on Jake and Atari's kids than anything else, and it works. Many younger actors that have good performances here. And you get an unrecognizable Kate Winslet as a different creed of the Navi that is green and lives by the water. More intimate scenes, but that doesn't mean that the movie has no action. Cameron is a master of action, and the action scenes in this movie are top notch. Cameron knows what he is doing behind the camera when it comes to directing action scenes, and he does it here yet again with great result. The scenes are very much so well directed and choreographed, especially because of the environments we are dealing with here. Pandora and a lot of marine battles because it takes place on islands surrounded by oceans and on the oceans themselves. Overall, this was an entertaining and emotional return to Pandora, and I'm here for the rest of the sequels. This has been Boogeyman Cinema, and I hope you enjoyed the video. My final rating for this movie is a 6 out of 10.